Namaskaram. Welcome to the Himalayan Yoga Association. My name is Durkesh and uh, today I'm going to teach you the Ayurveda. So before you know going into and starting the session, let's start the session with the prayer. The prayer which is very much important because when you start the session with the prayer, you connect it to yourself and you become more attentive and aware towards you and towards whatever we are going to learn and practice. So to bring the consciousness and awareness, we start with prayer. Coming into the sitting posture, any posture you can choose. Keep the palm on the knee. You can sit on the couch or on the ground. Just rest your palm on the knee. Don't try to make it the mudra. And keep your back, neck straight, shoulder relax. Chin parallel to the ground. And gently close your eyes. Observe the alignment. Just observe how you are sitting. Go into your posture. Remain in the posture and keep your posture still and relax. Once you are comfortable, bring your awareness towards the natural breath the breath which is going in and coming out just observe now take a deep prolonged slow inhalation Deep, prolonged, slow exhalation. Inhale and exhale from the belly. As you inhale, belly pop out. As you exhale, belly squeezing. Now, prepare yourself for the three time arm along with Shanti. Take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation for the Om. Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your palm. Serve your palm. Place your 
place on your eyes. Feel the warmness. Very slowly while blinking, looking at your palm, gently open up your eyes with a great smile and say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So, <clears throat> Om Shanti to everyone. Today, before you know, start talking about the rules and regulation of the Ayurveda. Let's start with the literal meaning of the Ayurveda. So Ayurveda, I, I hope it's become very much common now. This word is very popularized everywhere. All of you are aware of like Ayurvedic soap, Ayurvedic toothpaste, Ayurvedic face wash, so many things. Everywhere this word is you know, used by the, com, you know, today media, even pharmaceutical companies are using this word. But do you know the literal meaning of the Ayurveda? So today's session is about the meaning, definition, the concept of the Ayurveda and what is the motto of the Ayurveda actually and why we need to practice the Ayurveda. These are the questions which is, you know, haunting your mind, disturbing you a lot. Why we require these so much discipline and natural, yeah, you require the natural way of healing. The concept of Ayurveda talks about this thing, but why we require it? So today we're going to take these things, these questions, and I, I try my best to answer. So let's begin with the session with the literal meaning of the Ayurveda. So Ayurveda, the word. This word is, if you're gonna break, Ayu plus Ved, which I've written down on the board also, you can see. Ayu plus Ved, okay. So the literal meaning of the Ayu is like Ayushman Bhav. We give the blessing. In India, we, you know, always the elders give the blessing to the youngest Ayushman Bhav, right? So it's like, may you have long life. So Ayu means long life. Literal meaning is long life. Another meaning of the Ayu is aliveness. Are you really alive? This is a, another question. What do you think? You are alive? Aliveness means what? When you're enjoying each and every moment, right? You're into the action. But half of the our mind is somewhere else. Only 20% we are connecting to the action. Walking, talking, eating, taking the bath. Daily you are doing these action, right? Day-to-day -day routine is action. So are you really connected with it? Are you really alive? Are you really enjoying your life? The two meanings, long life. One, long life with aliveness. So may you have long life with aliveness. Another word you connect with health, long and healthy life. Long and healthy life, plus you should be alive towards the living, how you call yourself your living being. Because how you perceive the world. Right? So either you can live your life like other animals are living or you can choose your own path. You can deny the pre-exist notion of the society and you take the stand and choose your path. And even if you are opting the pre-exist notion or pre-exist, you know, path. So you are more alive towards, you are more conscious when you are walking on that path. More connect. So Ayurveda basically talks about the connection. So Ayur. Next is Ved. Ved. You heard about it like they, there are four Vedas, 
right? Four Ved are very ancient scripture, very old traditional scripture. More than, if uh, you ask me the dates, approximately like five thousand, more than five thousand years old scripture. Among them, there is Atharvaid, which is the part. Ayurveda is a part of the third Ved. So Ved, all the Ved, and this Ved, the word, is very important and very crucial. The, this word actually means the wisdom. The wisdom is very much practical. This is not only the text, like Ayurved text. You are reading it and you get the Ayurved. No. This is the wisdom you are getting it. The wisdom to seeing the world around you, to perceiving the life, observing the life and how you will get the wisdom. You have, there's a procedure to getting the wisdom, right? The procedure what? First, how you get the way it's like. Wisdom, how you become wise. The procedure start with accumulation the information, reading the information around you. Like how you get the information through the books, through your parents, your teachers, your friends, they're telling you, right? Your uncles, aunts, they're giving you some information or the media those information you accumulate understand you listen it you're listening then contemplating understand developing the understanding this information i have to use it or not then you're gonna utilize it those information implement that is the experiment doing the experiment that experiment when you're doing it you get some outcome experience Good or bad, doesn't matter. But you get something out of it, that is your experience, which is very personal. Very much personal. You cannot experience the thing until unless you are not implementing those things. And then by repeatedly doing those things, you acquired the knowledge. And knowledge gives you the pragya, that wisdom where you're observing the things, you connect with the things and you start seeing the reality around you. You start observing the life around you, that how the water, the tree, the everything is so important. You can see the link between this cosmo. All the species of the planet are linked together you can observe these things. A wise man can observe these things. Not, illit not literate person or educated or civilized person, but a wise man. So wisdom is a procedure. You, so you become wise by observing the things around you, by accepting. The wisdom gives you the acceptance you can understand the law of the nature and you don't go against the law of the nature but you embrace that law of the nature that Ved so Ved is very much practical approach very much practical it's not like by reading it not just by reading it you get understanding of the Ayurved you have to implement on yourself so Ayurveda is the wisdom of the human being which gives how to live your life, how you have to enjoy each and every moment, how you can be, become alive and live your life. A text, if you're taking as a text, a text which disclose the sacred knowledge of getting the long and healthy life another meaning 
if you see Ayurveda as a text. So Ayurved, so this Ayurved basically, the literal meaning of Ayurved is this. So now we have to move further. If you get the understanding of the literal meaning of the Ayurved. Another question. So another like definition we talked about. Now history of the Ayurved. Let's like, take the glimpse. The Ayurved is very very old practice. It is that much more than 15,000 years old practice. Why? Because uh, understand the you know when something is written is available first many years it practiced by the people later on written forms come very later on so are you with were practiced by the ancient yogis and even the Asian common men more than 15,000 years old practice like the yoga, when yoga is originated at the same time, you can see uh, because all the human beings are connected to the nature and they are using the nature for healing themselves. And that is Ayurveda. They are taking the help of the nature to healing them. They are more connected towards the nature. But that time, no, uh, written texts are not available because they don't require it. They understand the law of the nature and law of the nature is governing them. They have more, they have more consciousness that what happened to their body and what by taking what they can cure themselves. They're completely connected to their body. The founder of the Ayurveda, like uh, it said that Adinath Yogi, some text talking about that this is. Uh, the first founder of the uh, Ayurveda is Adinath Yogi, the Lord Shiv. Lord Shiv, who, who is the founder of the Yoga, Hatha Yoga, is the founder of the Ayurveda as well. But some in some Ayurvedic text is mentioned that Ayurveda is coming from the mouth of the Lord Brahma. The Brahma who is a God of the creation. But actually, yes, nature has given the energy. If you're given the name either Shiv or the Brahma, but actually the nature taught to you. So these, the very first, and then it passes to the generation to generation. Later on, but these are the two names which is very common, which is written in the text. Now why they required the Ayurveda? Why we required the Ayurveda? What is the importance of the Ayurveda? And ancient time and now, what is the difference? Still we require the Ayurveda? Because why we are going to waste the time here, right? If not fulfilling or giving the benefit to us. Asian time, maybe. The environment is different, everything is different. But what is the importance now? Why I should learn? To answer this question, you have to understand that because to bring the balance, because there is always an imbalance. When there is imbalance, a certain kind of problem cures is going around you to bring the balance you require the ayurveda and even to practice the yoga to prepare yourself for the yoga you require ayurveda in ancient time ayurveda is the method for people to prepare themselves and preparation for what for yoga so they can go into the you know practicing the yoga to maintain the healthy and long life, to get the long life and healthy life, you require yoga. So, are you with, even in the modern times, play very crucial role. 
because this is the only way this is the only knowledge which talking about the harmony set the harmony between the nature and you talks about the connection unlike the other other modern medicine which harming the human being as well and the nature as well i'm not uh, criticizing them but i'm you know depicting the actual picture in front of you so ayurveda is a method with the help of the taking the help of the nature you can heal yourself you can connect to yourself are you with you required because you disconnected to yourself and that is the main cause of all the suffering and the problems that's why you form the diseases mental psychological psychosomatic physiological level so are you with basically bringing the harmony back within you as well that's why you require the ayurveda now we're going to discuss about the principle of the ayurveda so principle of the ayurveda to maintain the health the ayurveda most important you know part is to maintaining the health of the human being we already talked about the health right so the health maintaining the health is the most important part prevention next prevention preventing the diseases and last but not least finding the cure for all kind of diseases psychosomatic physiological or psychological this is the main principle of the ayurveda why the ayurveda is focusing on the maintaining the health and giving the long and healthy life to the human being because they they are the four purpose of the human being they are four purpose of the human being which we're going to discuss in the next class in detail where you're going to understand that the importance why today even in the modern time we have to practice the ayurveda and implementing on ourselves why we required and you also understand the ultimate like are you with is preparing for you basically practicing the yoga and other things as well so in coming session we're going to talk about that as well so this is all about which we discussed we discuss about quick you know preview we discuss about the definition introduction i have given to you the ayurveda history we discuss about it little bit definition little meaning of the ayurveda and the principle of the ayurveda which focus focusing on the human health preserving the health maintaining the health and finding the cure so let's we going to end the session here with three time om and shanti come into the sitting posture keeping your back neck straight aligned relax gently close your eyes take a deep breath exhale inhale exhale now inhale for the om
vibration and sensation join your both palm grab your palm place on your eyes very slowly while blinking looking at your palm gently open up your eyes with a great smile and say om shanti om shanti Om Shanti to all. Meet you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care. Bless you.